Hey there everyone and welcome to another product look and review. So today we have Tweet Attacks Pro 2. So just as a brief overview, this program is one of the few out there that allows you to automate things to do with your Twitter account. So searching for and adding people that fall into a certain category, i.e. Um, a category you choose from the search quote, uh, quote criteria. It also allows you to unfollow and it also allows you to follow back and you can automate tweets and things like that. To very begin with, you to begin with your account category, there you can see I've got an account category there. And once you've got an account category, you can add an account where you had to use name and password. You can also import accounts from a text file, export accounts to a text file. You can delete, obviously, refresh. And you can you got some settings there for the account, and then you can just select all select all banned accounts. You can do a bind proxy to the account uh, if I had a proxy set up, and you can do a bind user agent exactly the same. I don't have any of those set up. That's just about setting up the account in Tweet Attacks Pro 2. Task management this is where we're talking about adding tasks for um, doing your automated searches, adding users etc. So we, we create a new task, we select the user that we want to do it against and as you can see here we have task types of follow, follow back, unfollow, tweet, retweet etc and again up here. So what we do, we can go follow, we can enable that, we can have it run just between particular times if we have our computer on all the time. This runs on a PC by the way. We select the search word, so we say um, marketing, for example. We can do a search by username, search by tweet, in all, in top. And we can do insert words automatically. We can do by import accounts or by set advanced searches. Do don't follow same people, follow people's followers. Take those for example. We can follow amount per time, so this is the amount of people will follow in one running task, and then the maximum amount per day. So with this, you can actually have this constantly running at any one time. So you can set a maximum of say 50 in a day, um, and say we want to do I don't know 15 to 25 for those. And then the interval, five to ten seconds. I'm going to leave as it is. And the same with that. The one thing I like about Tweet Attacks Pro 2 is the fact that you can set up a task to do everything, so you can do auto follow backs again, and then unfollows exactly the same. Unfollow who doesn't follow me randomly. Um, the amount of days you can wait, so say five, uh, unfollow anyone time, so let's go 25 to 45, interval and a max per day. You can do some tweets, you can obviously set up basic tweets, etc. Retweets, replies, and direct messages. For this task, I'm just going to do the follow, follow back, and unfollow, but it's quite neat that you can actually set up the, all this within one task. You then create that. Oh, we need to create the task. So let's put a name, save the task, and then the task goes in here. What we can do then, we can actually run the select task, and then you can do it, run it one time, run until you stop the program, which is why you've got that at the time every at a time number of run and run until a particular date. So I'm going to run it one time and then it's going to go off now and it's going to do a search 
and then start doing the follow any follows back which there won't be any unfollows etc when you've got some follows done you can actually look in the list and you can see here there's one person and if I check again you'll see there's two people so that creates a list of who you've followed and then same with the unfollow list same with the retweet link and then reply links well that's going to run that task we go across and you can see here we have a message manager now this is where you can create your messages with the variables and spinning so you can actually do a spin um, you can actually preview what that will look like okay I was messing around with this a little bit earlier so it looks a bit messy let's go to the second one and then we can now do a preview you can see that's what that kind of converts to now you can actually select the variable from the list to import if you want to you can add new content which creates a new tab and then if you look up here you can actually edit the variables so you can see here these are all the variable lists and you can see with the URL there's two separate URLs and then obviously it's spin dependent on that you can create a new variable you can update the current variable delete variables all your variable handling is within this window and as you can see well, if I go back to here you know the variable there they've got the URL variable and then they've got variable 1 variable 2 number 2 variable number 3 so when I do a, a preview we can see their URL and then a random number on the end there with a question mark and that number there has come from number 1 number 2 number 3 we have some settings and help as you can see there you can register speed spin chief account and then finally you have the forums within the actual program itself now you can see the task manager is still going away still following a few people and as I say because it's got the auto follow and follow follow back it's pretty much automated as soon as you set up that task that's the one thing I like about this program actually is you do it, you set up the task and it does everything in one place you don't have to go to multiple different screens to do a follow then do an unfollow then do a, 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 a follow back do a, a tweet it's just one task you create and you can have that task running you can run that task once you can stop the task you can delete the task you can add new tasks you can have new tasks for for the same user if you want to it's pretty pretty powerful pretty good overall I think actually it's a, a fantastic program um, I think it's a great program if you want to automate your Twitter to help you get followers to follow back etc it's very simple to use once you've got used to the system uh, it's it's very different from other ones I've used in that you create this task but I think that is actually the most powerful thing I like about this program is the fact that you create the task there's no as I said different tabs or screens to, to go through you just do it in one place the management is uh, quite good you do have to refresh to get any updates I've noticed as you can see I've just refreshed it doesn't automatically seem to do that at least it hasn't seemed to have done that when I've been using it but all in all it's a good program the one cautionary tale like any of these programs is you have to not over abuse it if you over abuse then you are at risk of getting your Twitter account suspended so that's one cautionary tale with any one of these programs that's not just Twitter tax pro to that's any of these automation tools so keep that in mind if you are looking to buy this to use it sensibly and not to spam so guys thanks for watching thanks for checking this out if you are looking for a program that does this sort of thing then go and check out Twitter Tax Pro 2 you won't be disappointed okay thanks for watching and bye for now